Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, today being Patch Tuesday security updates. Of course, we talked about it for those that uh, want to check the updates. We have a better idea now of what's in there. Of course, the uh, security flaws count to 71. Now, that is not just Windows. It's all Microsoft products together. And add to that 21 for Microsoft Edge. So that's 92, actually. Um, so different products with different security flaws, including Microsoft Office. If you use Office, of course, there's an update for security of Office. Now, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, the same number of fixes. It seems that they have the exact same fixes to be done. But there's an added uh, bonus on Windows 11 users. Um, that update, that comes today. And if you want to see if it's there, just go to Windows updates. It's mandatory, so I'll have to, it will install. Uh, if I look at my update history, it's here. Cumulative update for Windows 11, KB5 01 and Windows 11 also also has some bug fixes in there. Not a lot of them, but a few ones, including one that we talked about that was um, quite important. So if you used the um, option to reinstall Windows from within your Windows operating system, of course, one of the options was to delete all files and start from scratch. Um, the files were not deleted in some cases on Windows 11. So it was a known bug that was to be fixed, and it got fixed today. So when you install this update, the uh, bug fixing update, uh, the bug fixing for the OneDrive flaw that actually puts the files back uh, is now fixed. So if you choose to remove everything, now everything will be removed for your computer. The uh, update also has some improvements and uh, bug fixing, so there's a bug fix and improvement for the weather. If you didn't see the weather panel on the left side, it could be actually appearing now since there is one um, um, bug fix for that here, including some changes for the widgets. Um, there's also some, um, they fix an incorrect uh, tooltips when you're over over the icons like battery volume or Wi-Fi. It wasn't showing the right information sometimes on some machines. Fixed issues concerning time zone lists that can be blank for non-administrators. Um, they also fixed if you are in a language that actually displays from right to left rather than left to right, like a lot of uh, us are reading right now, uh, there was a bug that is also fixed. So these are a few little things, not a lot of bug fixing, but enough to uh, maybe help in some cases if you have a little, one of those issues. The build number for Windows 11, if you do your WinVer, you should now, in the stable version of Windows 11, be at 22,000.556. That's where we are. This is the latest version for stable version. This is where you should be if you're on the regular Windows 11 version. Whether you're supported or not, you should be here. You should be at this number meaning you have all the updates until now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.